obviously Andreas Christensen and Dom Solanke have both played uh, for the first team. Izzy Brown's been on the bench on a number of occasions too. And who will be the next to make the step up? Here's Colkit. Now Palmer, why not? Uh, that by his standards is uh, nowhere near his best, but you can see why he wanted to hit it from 35 yards. Yeah. Number four of the first half for Chelsea. was aimed at Clark Salter, headers more up than away. Thorpe's was better, out back in, young clear. Chelsea stopping any chance of a break there by leaving two defenders back at the corner. Silver showing good strength to stay on his feet, skipping past Thorpe and getting his crossover. That was much more like it from Jada Silver. Oh, poor ball clear to Casey Palmer. First shot on target of the night. No surprise that it was Palmer who had it. Yeah, there's a number of these players that maybe get out and get some first-team games before this, at the end of this season. I'd be surprised to see any more of the Chelsea guys let go. Here's Brown. Going for goal, is he, Palmer? Didn't miss by much. Chelsea is starting to wake up and click into gear now. Yeah, that was created very little in open play, so... This is probably their best chance to date. As it's called first, first team this season, Ashley Young. Oh, he's wasted that. Ought to have at least tested Mitchell Beanie. Yeah, I thought he was going to go for It's that. one of the two big games that Manchester United are playing at academy level tonight. They are in FA Youth Cup action. And a reminder that you can see Chelsea's quarter-final in that competition at St James's Park against Newcastle United. Live on Chelsea TV this time next week. Izzy Brown might be during that game, and he might be through here. It's Brown squaring it for Dom Solanke, and Chelsea have the lead. Brilliant play from Brown, and it was the predator Dom Solanke who slid in to get his 26th goal of the season. It's Manchester United nil, Chelsea won. Can't tell you how good that play is from Izzy Brown. He just, just nicked the ball, was it? I think it was Blackett that dallied on the ball, and he was able to nick it. And I, for all the life of me, I thought he was going to take the strike. Yeah, it was actually Young that was actually short change Blackett. I just thought he was going to put his foot through here. Great awareness, putting on the plate for Solanke to slide home. So it's 24th, is it, of the season? Phenomenal return. 26 all told. 26 in all competitions. Seventh in this one. Yeah, just the way it's set up here, I thought he's going to put his foot through it, and that was definitely the right decision, just squared it, put it on a plate for Solanke. And they're the sort of goals you number nines love, aren't they? Oh, Coaches that's, finishes. That's clinical, though. They, you know, not had a. Yeah, he's not a soul cut. Tom Solanke looks for his opportunity and takes it. There's on a few occasions where I've seen the, the 21s or the 18s this season when he's he's hardly had a kick, and he's gone away with with two and sometimes in the uh, on other occasions hat tricks. Now though, he's Brown again. Is he Brown trying his own luck this time? Whistled over the crossbar, but Chelsea are looking good now. Well, with Ashley Young back, Manchester United pretty much at full strength. Louis van Gaal saying the other week they'd had 55 separate injuries this season. Which perhaps doesn't speak that well over his training methods. Anyway, here's Fankati Darbo. Now Brown. Palmer with a beautiful flick. And Musonda with the shot. What a goal that would have been. The build-up play was sublime. to be worried. Yeah, it's all about just whipping it towards the target, paying this in this area and try and get a touch on it. Palmer! Oh, well, Valdez had to, to tip it over. It was dipping under the crossbar, I think, really well struck, as we've come to expect from Casey. Sure, now we've got Weir, who's, I think, a midfielder by trade going up front. That's Weir's touch. Well, they're in control of the game at the moment, Chelsea, but it only takes a minute to score a goal and... Try to need, need to try and consolidate this lead, get a second, and I think the game will be over. Brown, bludging in his way through. Is he Brown? Oh, good save from Victor Valdez. Would have been a beauty that he's been the standout player in the second half. Is he Brown? I think you're right. I think seniority is ruling, isn't it, this evening for the Manchester United? Ashley Young on the first one. I don't think I've ever seen Rafael take a dead ball. Certainly not. He is Brazilian, mind you. He's the decoy. It's Pereira. It's deflected. It's one-one. Little nick off the wall, left Mitchell Beanie flat-footed. And Andres Pereira brings Manchester United back level.
incredibly frustrating for Beanie because he's not had a save to make. They've not had a shot in open play and very unfortunate for the free kick. Straight into the wall and wicked flexion. Decent hit from Pereira. How telling was the nick? Looks like it was Jay De Silva that it flicked off. Yeah, completely yeah, changed. There always become a time in a game where you're under the cosh and this is it. Five, ten minutes, just weather this storm and get your composure back and try and win the game. No doubt he's taking this one. 30 yards out, Andreas Pereira, short run up. Decent effort as well. Great save from Mitchell Beanie to knock it behind. Oh, he really got behind that Pereira. Robinson very nearly did it on a second occasion. More likely that he'll put a ball into the area here, but still he's shown that he's got quality with that right foot. Yeah, I think if there's going to be a shot, it would be a left footer from this position. Pereira's delivery is a brilliant one, and the header is into the net from top four, and Manchester United have turned a one-goal deficit into a 2-1 advantage. It was pretty much a free header for the United skipper. It was placed sweetly onto his head by Pereira, and Beanie is beaten again, and United lead 2-1. Well, he's been dominant in his own area defensively, and uh, he's a couple of crucial headers also. He's headed back across goal and as an attacking threat, and this time, fantastic delivery, to be fair, and it's a great header. Just got the run on Jake Clark Sorter, I think. Just got a couple of yards ahead of him, stole the march on him, and just able to thump home a header. Uh, underline a good game for Tom Thorpe. That, as you said, Sam, he's really good doing his daily job, if you like. And he steal a march on Clark Salter there. Abraham's flick. Still time for an equaliser. One and a half minutes plus add ons. All over the top here for Harrop. Powell rather, and he got no power in his shot whatsoever. Sums up his night. In. Like a third defeat of the season for the Blues. They'll, they'll shake it out their system quickly, I'm sure. Ain't it? Game's not done yet. Can he keep it in here, Olerena? He's done that. Oh, it almost went in. A bent out of play, I think. Yeah, good 